Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this one today, I'm going to walk through the solution for the June Games Week 2 challenge. I've got you guys to create a personalized vehicle recall service email. So if you haven't done the brief already, please have a go before you watch this video. For those who are on YouTube, you can check out the brief in the description below. Download the brief, have a go, and then come back to this video. Um, so again, like always, you can watch this video at 1.5 times speed or faster for quicker learning. I do talk a little slower for those who don't really understand it and want to break it down bit by bit. But if you're really comfortable, feel free to crank it up and watch it at a faster speed. So let's get straight into the video. So this is a brief today. You're working for a car service company that has identified a product recall affecting several vehicles. Okay. So the company's goal is to notify each affected customer and request them to return their vehicle for service repair. This campaign aims to ensure customer safety and maintain high service standards. So reading from this brief, you're probably already thinking, okay, this should be a service email, right? So for those who entered in this week's competition, actually all of those who have entered didn't have any syntax errors at all. So awesome stuff. I probably should make the brief a little bit more challenging, but um, what I wanted to challenge you with this brief is just the consulting side. So some of you did pick up a few things, some of you don't. So watch this video to see what you guys missed out on. So as we continue, as part of this initiative, you are tasked with creating a personalized email for each customer. The email must include specific details about the vehicles and so forth, right? Ideally personalizing it to make it more engaging and more relevant. These are the requirements. So you need to include the customer's first name or format it correctly as usual, the vehicle details. And now we have some registration dates. So in the brief, it says to display it in this format. Um, and the record deadline inform the customer of the return by date, which is 14 days from today, example in this format. So reading from here, we can see there's two different date formats in play at the moment. I, as a consultant, probably will just question um, the market just to see what the intent is here. Um, it might make sense to make it in the same format. So actually Lisa picked, that, picked up on that one, so awesome stuff, Lisa. But really at the end of the day, it's really up to the marketer. So for the purpose of this, we can just keep as is, but it's a good point. Always question, ask, okay, it might make sense to have it at the same format because it's easy, you know, readability. Um, why are you changing the formats within the same email? Um, so that's something just to ask, but awesome stuff. So this is your sample data. Um, you code snip it and here is our email. So we have the subject line here. So there's certain points in here that we need to make sure our function is performing. So car make, that's an uppercase, same in here. I think everything else remains the same. So mainly car make is displayed in uppercase and yeah, awesome stuff. So one thing before we start coding that none of you guys picked up on, those who submitted into this week's competition, I kind of made it obvious. I tried to make it obvious as much as I could in this intro here saying that this is a service email, okay? This is important. The car, you know, it can affect a customer's safety. So they need to, the company in this case, really needs to contact these individuals. In the email copy, you might have seen, you know, unsubscribe here to stop receiving communications from us. That probably entails that this is a marketing communication, which should not be the case, right? It is purely a service email. So this is something that you need to go back to the marketer and say, okay, just confirming this is a service email, not a marketing email, because these customers must receive these comps. Um, so it's something like that you should probably mention. And during the setup, maybe they're doing the email send. They might select the you know commercial sender profile or sender classification, which will prevent people who opt out of marketing to receiving this email, which is crucial because all customers need to receive these you know this email. So that's something that none of you guys picked up. So this here shouldn't be here actually at all. So delete, right? Not required and something to confirm with the marketer. Anyways, let's get into the coding. So first step as always, open your M script block and retrieve all the fields that you need. So I'm, again, I'm using MC snippets. This is an awesome tool. If you guys haven't seen it already, you can code everything in here outside of Salesforce Marketing Cloud and see your M script uh, preview, which is pretty cool. So let's do this real quick. Okay, so these are all the fields that we need uh, for the email send. So what's the next step? Let's clean up our first name data. Let's comment this first name cleaning. 
Again, use comments. It's very useful. Cleans everything up, makes it look nice and easy to reference back in the future. So, oop, so that should be trim. Let's trim our first name variable and apply the proper casing function. Again, if you want to learn how to clean up first name when there's empty first name fields, check out the pro community. So let's do this real quick. Copy case. Let's proper case our first name trim variable, like so. Cool. All right, so next step. So actually let's print out the final name first in our email here. You can do it step by step, like so. Cool. So the next step here is car make in uppercase. So we can do that real quick. So we can just call this car details set car make upper. Again, you can call it whatever you want really. And this uppercase our car make variable in here. Nice. Okay, so what's next? The model, that's fine. Model wise, we don't really need to change anything. So let's put our car make upper variable in here, print it out. Like so. Our model, we can just print it out as is. Don't need to change anything. Like so. Body hello, yep, yeah, final name. We are writing to inform you of an important recall for your car make in uppercase. So this is the same thing. We can copy and paste that variable over. And our model variable like so. So it's repeating again here. According to our records, so let me zoom here, your vehicle with the rego number. So rego looks like it's the same. Do we need to uppercase it? No, it looks like it's consistent. That's probably something that you can confirm as well. Um, to ensure it's all in uppercase, but looks like for this example, that's the case already. Register, registered on registration date. So there's a specific requirement for the registration date and we need to display it in this format. That's kind of straightforward. So let's do that real quick. So registration details, set rego date format. Format date. What are we formatting? We're formatting the registration date, like so, into what format? And we want it in DD, MM, Y, 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 like so, right? Cool. So that's our regio date completed. We can copy and paste that in our email, like so. This was brought in for service repair. Please return your car make and model. So this is probably the same thing. Copy and paste, paste it in here. So another thing that's probably worth pointing out, you probably noticed that the car make in uppercase and model is kind of repetitive in you know three cases already, right? You can concatenate that in as one variable. So car details, if you want to simplify it, you don't have to paste in you know two um, you know, two variables each time. Actually, someone did that. I think it was Jose. So awesome stuff, Jose. Um, you can actually combine it as one variable. So car details equals concat. So you can do something like this, right? Car upper space space and then car model like so. That way, you can just print out this variable rather than repeat it each and every time. Does that make sense? So let me do that. And now we just paste in the car details like so. Far more simpler. Let's do that the same here. And then let's do that the same here. It's all about efficiency, right? Color, we can keep that as is. Copy paste the color like so. Yep, by recall date. So there's another requirement for the recall date. It's 14 days from today. So let's do that right now. Let's clean that up. 
record date. Oops, format. So before we do that, we need to retrieve the current date. So you know, as always, you can just copy and paste this. So I'll just do that right now. Keep it simple. Don't have to type this. I always have this kind of saved somewhere, so you can always bookmark it. But set system date equals now. Set local date equals system date to local date. And now, all we need to do is create the record date. Now it's date add. And then what are you going to add the days to? We're going to add it to the local date. How many days? We're going to add 14. And what interval? D for day. And that's pretty much it. So we're adding 14 days to today's date, which is the email send date. And then now we want to reformat the email send date. So record date format equals format date. We're going to format the record date. And then now we want it in this format, right? The full month, the 14th and 2024. So let's look at, you know, the format date function. Yeah. So again, you don't have to memorize all of these functions or these dates by heart. Just Google them now that you know how to read it. Let's see what we need. So June 14th. So June, the month, we need the full month. So in this case, it needs to be four M's, right? Copy and paste that into here. So let's format it here. Now, 14, well, that's easy, DD for days, comma, and now the year, which is Y, 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 right? So four M's, two D's, four Y's. And that is our record date. So let's move our page back here. Let's copy and paste our record date and paste it in here. Where is it? Record date, like so. There we go, to ensure your vehicle is safe to drive. We apologize for any inconvenience, dismay, and yet blah, blah, blah. Best regards to your car service team. P.S. If you have any questions to reschedule, please contact us. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. So let's preview it. Let's copy and paste our email template. Paste it in here. We do need to add our line breaks because it is in HTML. So let's open this up real quick. So this is our code. Let's add some line breaks. Cool. So I have the data prepped in here already. Let's have a quick look. Oh, I just realized I am missing an at symbol there. Everything else looks okay. Add car details, rego, color. Yeah, recall. Okay, I think everything looks good to me. So let's save and run. And let's see if we can get this in one go. No mistakes, come on. There we go. Awesome, so important recall notice for your Honda Civic EX. So just confirming that's a capital Y. Yep, your Honda, let's see my data, Civic EX. Hello, John, we are writing to inform you of an important recall for your Honda Civic EX. According to your records, your vehicle with register number FHY348, yep, registered on 15th of the 1st, 2022nd. So this is the date format that we needed to reformat our um, registration date to needs to be brought in for repair service or service repair. Please return your Honda Civic red color by June 29, 2024. So this is 14 days from today and uh, it's in this format. So again, two different date formats might be confusing to some customers. So um, yeah, you might want to, you know, suggest having in the same format, but really at the end of the day, it's the marketer's job. Not for you really, just bring the consulting skills in. And uh, yeah, everything looks pretty cool. So let's check our other record just to confirm. So who's this one? Sarah, she has a Accord LX and blue. Nice, hello Sarah, Accord, yep, Accord LX. Um, DOP 093, yep, that's the retro number registered on the 15th of the 12, 12, 15th of the 3rd, 2023. Like so, nice, and 14 days from today is the same blue color. And that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you guys for those who submitted. Good stuff. Keep practicing. Keep learning. Again, the brief in the link description below for those who are on YouTube. Keep up the good work. The next drop comes tomorrow. And if you haven't already, join the Antrip Academy um, community. You'll learn a ton of Antrip stuff. You learn with other professionals and you practice each week with new use cases. So thanks again, guys. See you in the next one.